Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will discuss about raw material sampling. We'll explain the procedure and how it's done according to ICH guidelines, ensuring safety, consistency, and quality in pharmaceutical production. Let's get started. What is raw material sampling? In the pharmaceutical industry, Raw material sampling is a vital process used to ensure that the ingredients used in drug production meet required specifications. Before any material enters production, a sample is taken, tested, and verified for quality. This step ensures that all batches of the drug product are safe, effective, and consistent. Raw material sampling provides a snapshot of the material's quality and helps detect any possible contamination. Impurities or inconsistencies before they become an issue. Importance of following ICH guidelines. ICH guidelines are globally accepted standards that ensure pharmaceutical products are safe and high quality. These guidelines cover multiple aspects of drug manufacturing, including raw material sampling. By adhering to ICH standards, pharmaceutical companies ensure their processes meet international regulations for quality, safety, and efficacy. The guidelines help establish a framework for how, when, and where to collect samples to ensure consistent quality across all production batches, types of raw materials sampled. Raw materials in the pharmaceutical industry can be divided into several categories including active pharmaceutical ingredients, APIs, excipients, and packaging materials. Each type requires different sampling techniques based on its physical properties. Whether it's a powder, liquid, or solid, the sampling process ensures that every material meets its intended quality standards. Step-by-step -step sampling procedure, carry out sampling only by persons who have been trained for this purpose. Use gowns, masks, gloves and safety goggles while sampling. Sampling aids include spatula and sampling rod which comes in contact with material, warehouse department check for the condition of shipment and actual quantity of raw material received. After receiving the raw material, warehouse department forward the GRN through XYZ system to quality control department, make register entry from GRN received, after taking the entry in register go for sampling ensure that air handling unit of the area is working and condition is within the limits, wear the overgown and protective covering like gloves, masks, goggles etc. Before entering in the sampling room, take the sampling kit which includes plastic bags, bottles, goggles, gloves, mask, sampling rod, knife, scissors, under test label, sampled label, spatula, intimation of GRN, white page, Format for checklist approved vendor list, cello tape etc. required for sampling. Ensure that 100% quarantine label is affixed by warehouse department ensure that consignment is kept in quarantine area. Before sampling, check the container. Physically and write down the raw material sampling checklist. Inform to QC head if any discrepancy observed. Start the RLAF 15 minutes before sampling to avoid the contamination of the raw material. Maintain the RLAF pressure monitoring record before sampling, transfer the material through pass box to the sampling area from quarantine area for opening of bag slash container, take the precaution like pressure differential, RLAF, cleaning, balance calibration, open the container in sampling booth, collect samples of raw material using a sampling rod or spatula, A. Use spatula for sampling the material from container which are less than 2.0 kg, B. Use stainless steel sampling rods of desired size for sampling the material from container which are more than 2.0 kg. Maintain the record in raw material sampling log book during sampling, operation of sampling rod, insert the sampling rod into the material and slowly insert the rod into the material downwards till the lower portion of the rod reaches the bottom of container, rotated the inner rod in such a way that the material gets trapped in holding chamber. Close the window provided in the outer hollow rod by rotating it. Collect the sample from top, middle, and bottom windows to make the sample as representative sample with the aid of spatula. For active ingredient, 
Insert the sampling rod into the material and slowly insert the rod into the material downwards till the lower portion of the rod reaches the bottom of container. Do 100% sampling from all of containers of each batch, i.e., each container must be sampled. Collect the sample from each container slash bag using a sampler in LDPE bag under RLAF. Take sample quantity 4 times to the quantity required for complete analysis. Calculate the sample to be drawn from each container as per following formula. Total quantity to be sampled slash total numbers of containers, as per approved sampling quantity of raw material, sheet, collect the sample in individual LDPE. Bag for identification and label each sampling bag showing the container number, approximately 100 mg from each container. Draw the sample from each container under RLAF and weigh the composite sample in two different LDPE bags as per sampling quantity of raw material for control sample and sample for analysis. Insert these two bag of composite sample to individual HDPE containers and stick label of raw material for chemical analysis on one container and control sample on other container. Ensure containers or bags are properly closed after sampling. Prepare under test labels on yellow colored paper through XYZ system or manually in affix on each container slash bag. Affix sampled by label on the container and put the date and signature of sampled by chemist to all container slash bags for inactive ingredient, excipients, carry out sampling from all containers if containers are less than or equal to 4 in numbers. Use square root and 1 formula for sampling if containers are more than 4 in numbers where n is number of containers. Take sample quantity thrice to the quantity required for complete analysis. Calculate the sample to be drawn from each container as. Per following formula, total quantity to be sampled slash total numbers of containers, as per approved sampling quantity of raw material, sheet, collect the samples from containers using a sampler in LDPE bag under RLAF and weigh the composite sample in two different LDPE bags as per sampling quantity of raw material. Keep this bags in individual HDPE containers and stick label of raw material for chemical analysis on one container and control sample on other container. Ensure container or bags are properly closed after sampling. Prepare under test labels on yellow colored paper through XZY system or manually and affix on each container slash bags, affix sampled by, label on the container and put the date and signature of sampled by chemist to all container slash bags from which sampling is done, cleaning. Of sampling aids, after sampling, cover the sampling aid with plastic bag and transfer to washing area of warehouse department. Clean the adhering powder with clean cotton and discard the cotton in waste basket. Wash the aids with 0.1% T-pole solution and then wash thoroughly in running water to make free from any adhering mass and T-pole solution, and finally rinse with purified water, wipe and dry with clean lint-free cloth and keep in a plastic bag to protect from dust. Affix a cleaned status label on the plastic bag containing details like name of person who has done the cleaning and date of cleaning, maintain the record for cleaning of sampling equipment. Storage of samples before analysis, store the sample in dedicated place as per specified storage condition in quality control department up to analysis, complete the analysis within six days, testing and acceptance criteria, once the samples are collected, they undergo rigorous testing in the laboratory. Testing is done to check for, 1, description, solubility, LOD slash water content, 2, purity, 3, contaminants or impurities, for physical characteristics, such as particle size and moisture content, the results are compared against predefined acceptance criteria established in the material specifications. If the material fails to meet the specifications, it is either rejected or requires further investigation. Common mistakes to avoid, here are some common mistakes to avoid when sampling raw materials, 1. Incorrect sampling tools using unclean or non-sterilized equipment can contaminate the sample. 2. Inconsistent sampling points failing to sample from different locations in the container may not provide a true representation of the material. 3. Improper documentation. Inadequate labeling and missing information can lead to traceability issues down the line. Thank you for watching, don't. Forget to like, subscribe, 
and hit the bell icon for more pharma industry insights.